Now, if preseason play is any indication of what's ahead during the regular season, tonight's game with the Knicks, who they didn't defeat at all last season, should be a real test for the defending world champions. And speaking of champions, Jim Berg joins us with a ringside look at some world champions of past and present. Jim? Well, Ray, the goal in sports obviously is to win. And if you win, one symbolic reward other than money or a trophy is a ring. Metro Detroit has been blessed in recent years with lots of championships and rings. And those are the things that everybody plays for. I mean, I don't care what league you're in. I don't care how big the ring is. As long as you get the ring, I don't care if it's gold, if it's diamond, if it's uh, whatever, it's silver, whatever it is. Uh, those are the moments that everybody plays for. Yes, indeed. One tangible prize for reaching the sports pinnacle is the ring. Novo Bojovic accomplished it with the Detroit Drive and the Panthers. Ex-teammate Alan Hughes cherishes his finger ornament from the 83 championship squad. This ring is very special because this is the first ring that a Detroit team in football has won a ring since the Detroit Lions in 1957. Mm -hmm. So it means a lot from that standpoint. Rumiel Robinson's free throws in the final seconds against Seton Hall last April earned the Wolverines a fine piece of jewelry. I feel there's a lot of pride involved in the championship ring. Um, you can always look at it, and there's really not a lot of people that have a championship ring. I think more than the ring, it's the significance of what it means. I'm not a guy that wears rings a lot, so I may wear mine for a week and put it up until I have to go on the road recruiting again because the kids like to see it, but I'm going to know what it means to have the ring. That's a nice recruiting tool, isn't it? No question. There are not many of them that can wave it around. Dan Petrie knows the feeling, a member of the 84 champion Tigers. They say that, you know, 10, 20 years after the fact, it's going to mean a lot more than it does immediately. Do you feel the same way? I think so. I think a lot of these guys, you know, you become so close to for, uh, you know, that season especially. But uh, and then they go on with their life and you go on with your life. So, uh, you know, that, that always has a, something in common. You can always look down and think about the 24 or 30 guys that you were with when you see this ring. The Lions' ineffectiveness the past three decades has been well documented, but there was a time when they were the best in the National Football League. Right here in Tiger Stadium, then known as Briggs Stadium, Detroit captured two of its three football crowns in the 1950s. Jim David was a six-time All-Pro defensive back for the Lions then, and one who experienced the sweet taste of a title. Do you think the championship ring nowadays means as much to the ball player as it did for your peers and yourself back in the 50s? Oh, I think, uh, yes, I think a championship ring to anyone in, in professional sports is, uh, is very... Uh, it's very rewarding. I think it's more important than the championship check. The winning check was 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 the ring. It's symbolic of excellence. Alex Del Vecchio symbolized excellence while with the Red Wings, part of the last Detroit hockey team to win a Stanley Cup in 54-55. Alex, obviously the money was not that great uh, back in the 50s for winning a championship, but would you give up that money for the ring? Yeah, I mean, the money, I agree with you, was nothing, but it did mean something to us. I think uh, in those years you got $1,000 if you won the league, $1,000 if you won the semi-playoffs. You only had two playoffs. I'll tell you, when we got these rings, uh, this meant a lot more than that money because whatever money we got it's gone <laughs> but i still have the ring and so inside the palace soon the pistons will continue the tradition upheld by several teams in this area knowing full well their place in history is secure there are a lot of people who played a lot of years and you know great players and some great coaches that never experienced uh, receiving a ring and i'm real happy about it, it means a lot of um, blood sweat sacrifice um work um, okay. Rough times, good times. I'm sure the championship rings will mean more to us 10 years from now. Right now, they're just a piece of jewelry. Um, but 10 years from now, we'll be able to look back on it and say, yeah, we got that one. The Red Wings, the Lions, the Panthers, the Tigers, the Wolverines, the Drive. And now the Pistons join the elite group, receiving their precious gems. I've never seen a bad one. <laughs> How bad could it be if it's worth $6,000 or whatever they say? No, it's, 
it's a gorgeous ring and uh, you know we we earned it they certainly have and a little bit later on we'll take an in-depth look at the new piston rings you know ray i kind of like the tiger and wolverine rings the best out of all of them i'm a little partial to that 68 world series ring by the tigers uh, and i know the players must be excited getting ready to receive those rings oh yeah and dan petrie told me earlier that the anticipation of getting the ring the build-up was even more of a thrill than the actual ceremony itself 